My name is Sean and I come from Savannah, Georgia. Um, I came here about a couple years ago to live with my sister. Uh, uh, but that didn't work out. So um, I'm a little antsy for an interview because uh, um, I, I haven't had cigarettes in about a couple of days. Little Bob has some. These guys around here, I'm getting to know them. Um, but I'm pretty much been clean. I mean, I've been smoking cigarettes. I, I don't drink alcohol. So, you know, I'm not like the typical, um, you know, guy on the street that you find. But, um, yeah, but it's hard. Uh, sleeping is really hard. Uh, your body aches. You look older than you really are. Uh, you know, I, I, last night, I've been here in this park for like two days almost. Last night I slept around um, like right behind those rocks over there. I think it was around over here where I slept last night. Um, I was here, but got a little lizard that woke me up in the middle of the night. I was really shitting my pants. So I came over here, this side over here. I mean, I, right now I would not sleep there, but I was so damn tired. I see it. All right, so I just, you know what, I don't know. I'm just, I'm just kind of like recreating the drama, you know? And then I just sleep here. And it's Sleeping out here, and your body starts hurting. Every bone hurts. So that's it, man. Chilling out luxury, man. Um, I think I get those cigarettes now. What are you doing? You're getting too close. Um, I feel like I need to take a shower, at least for this. You mean you're recording me, right? I mean, if you're videotaping me and trying to talk to me, I think maybe I should, like, take a shower or some shit like that. I don't know. I don't really know what happened. I tried to block it out, but... Uh, I've had a few jobs, but... For some reason, I just... I'm always late. I don't sleep much. I'm a night owl. And, um... Uh, I just can't get my shit together. I can't. I tried. I mean well. I think I'm a good guy. I succumb to some things and I may be... I kind of like, for some reason, feel sorry for myself, you know? And it's kind of like I'm out here on the, the streets because I kind of like maybe playing a part or something like that, you know? I don't know. I mean, I look the part, don't I? I mean, I wish I could say, you know, I'm afflicted and addicted to drugs and that's why I'm on the street. I have a chemical imbalance. I mean, that's for sure I got a chemical imbalance, but at least I know what my fucking problem is. I'm a constant professional procrastinator. I procrastinate. I, I'm i late everywhere. Well, when I used to be now, I don't have to be late. Now I could do whatever I want. I'm free. I feel free, you know. I feel free being on the street. Even in the shelter, it's 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 too rigid. It's the you know, rules and stuff, and, and I don't like that. I like to be free. And I'm not going to be on the street all the time. No. You got an ashtray? No. I'll just do it. I'll do it like that. Perpendicular to the ground, maybe it won't. I have to learn how to be responsible. I have bad credit. I, um, you know, I, um, <sighs> just can't get my shit together, you know what I'm saying? But, I, but I'll get my shit together. I walk around a lot, I travel a lot, by foot. It's just, I became like this street animal because I couldn't be human. I didn't know how to be human in the world that human lives in, the humans live in, so I'm like an animal. That's it, you know? And it really hurts when your family cuts you out because you can't get your shit together. 
and cutting me out was what made me go, what made me just hit the bottom. And it's like I don't give a crap anymore because I, I had so many chances to help myself, so many chances to help myself and I didn't. Surviving? I don't even know if I need to survive. So maybe one day I'll stop being an animal and I'll join the human race again. If the streets don't kill me first.